Hi everybody, it's Holly here from Hollywood Beauty on Instagram. If you haven't gone over there and checked me out, make sure to follow me. I post every single day about makeup, beauty, and style. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. I post every single week about makeup, beauty, and style. So today's video is going to be a review and tutorial on the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Loose Translucent Setting Powder Ultra Blur, which is really exciting because it's an, a kind of a build on their famous Loose Translucent Powder that I use for all my looks one of the best powders out there and they just use this ultra blur version so i'm excited to show you a tutorial on this makeup look i did today and review the product so there's three shades i got there's translucent which will be perfect for my coloring and that's the shade i have in the classic version so this is the powder i've already been using a little bit trying to get my thoughts and feelings do different looks with it it's the same kind of packaging as the original except for the top this one has a light kind of beige cap and the yeah the base here is frosted and yeah i got the translucent side so basically let's just i'll just tell you what it's about it is good for fair to medium skin tones and their classic powder is the number one setting powder talc free now it's now talc free which is amazing and this one's ultra blurring supposed to set makeup for 16 hours and ideal for anyone who likes talc free products which i just think is amazing they're doing that i feel like skincare and products are going more down that more healthier route so i'm glad that talc's taken out a matte formula soft focus finish which is kind of supposed to blur the appearance on the skin and make pores lines and perfections obviously less apparent i just look at the how to apply that they had on the send out and it's actually kind of the same way that i apply it and i didn't actually put two and two together i think i did learn it from a laura mercier video though very exciting i will just pop right into my tutorial on this product how i apply setting powder in general how i apply this powder and you can watch that now i'm going to go through the tutorial and then after the tutorial i'm going to give my rundown and full review on the product and my thoughts I'm gonna go in and apply this powder, share my thoughts. My skin is just prepped. I did all my skincare layering, tons of skincare, and then I put on a foundation. I used the NARS like reflecting foundation, and then I did my brows. I'm gonna put some concealer on and do the steps I like to do right before I put powder on. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. And I'm using, this is just usually where I place my concealer. I'm using the, I'll list the products I'm using down below. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla Classic that I love to use. And then I'm going to use just, I use this It Cosmetics Double Ended Brush just to kind of blend that concealer where I put it. Just to make sure it stays in place where I want it to be. And then I like to go in with the beauty sponge and blend that in. I've been using Real Techniques beauty sponges lately. Okay, we're blended. So I'm gonna go in with the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder. I like to tap a little bit into the cap. And then again, I'm using that color that I got, Translucent Ultra Blur. So I normally use the regular Laura Mercier translucent powder but today i'm using i'm trying out this ultra blur one so what i like to do is with their little poofs that you get i like to kind of put it like this put my finger here and wrap it around my finger and then i tap into the powder into the middle and then i kind of take it and flip it the other way and rub it like this so that it's kind of dispersed and it's not just one little area and then i kind of go on the area I want to set and do like a press and roll motion. I like doing this because I don't really like that much powder on my face. So I like to use kind of the least amount I need, but I definitely need powder because I want my makeup to last and I can get oily in my T-zone. So I find this is the best way so your skin doesn't look too powdery or oily or shiny. My skin's a bit shiny after I do my skincare. I mean, I do like it, but in my T-zone, I kind of have to make sure that it's all blotted. So you can see 
nice sun out today. How the effect of that powder from when my skincare was just kind of done, it really adds, it really mattifies everything. And it definitely looks a little bit different than the regular translucent powder. And I'll just go and finish up my makeup look for the day. And then I'll go into more detail about my thoughts on this powder compared to their classic one. My makeup look, this is the final makeup look of the day and using the new Ultra Blur powder. So my thoughts on the powder compared to the classic. So definitely when I use it on the skin, I do notice it has a little bit more of a matte look to it immediately compared to the classic loose translucent powder but it's not like a heavy matte setting powder so i've definitely used some true that are marketed just as a matte translucent powder and those are way more matte so i'd say it's somewhere between one of those hardcore matte finish powders and the the classic so i think anyone can use it even if you do have normal to dry skin it's not going to look crazy or cakey on your skin so I love it because I am oily through my T-zone. I have combo skin, so this will help keep my skin a little more controlled looking throughout the day. I feel like it's definitely worth using. So does it all blur your skin? I feel like this powder and the original powder is just, it, they just do make your skin look kind of flawless and they make the makeup and concealer underneath not look cakey. So I think therefore, obviously it makes your skin look flawless. A lot of powders do cake onto the skin and it's obvious about the makeup moving situation underneath and we don't want that. I definitely err on the side of a less powder. I think that is key. That's why I use that little technique with the sponge because I find that gives you just enough powder, not too much, not too little, and it blends into the skin flawlessly. So it's definitely worth trying. And the finished product is an ultra blurred, flawless looking foundation face situation. <laughs> Hope you found this video useful. Make sure to like it down below and follow me here at Hollywood Beauty. Don't forget to head over to Hollywood Beauty on Instagram. I post every single day over there and would love to see you babes. Hope you get to try this product. It's such an exciting product launch for Laura Mercier. Our original powder is just so famous. I'm really excited that they launched another one. I feel like it's just as popular. So as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.